Goodness. We are talking wines and dessert wines in particular, perfect for Valentine's Day. And Susie Zavanovic is here today. She's the uh, she is with Perry Steakhouse and the wines that you guys do your own wines at Perry's. Yes. And so that's what we're talking about today, pairing some of the dessert wines, right? Yes. Dessert wines offer a lot of complexity mm -hmm. because of the way that they're made. And so today we brought some different selections. The great thing about dessert wines, a lot of people think they're just sweet, right. but they are sweet, but they have a lot of uh, complexity to you, that pairs well with You do think that. You do, I do. When you say dessert wines, you do think, oh, sweet. Yes. And, and I love her. She is the um, beverage director. Yes. What a fun title it's and what good. a fun thing to do. <laughs> okay, so what do you want to tell us about today? And, you know, I know there are folks watching who, you know, they, they wines can be intimidating, and yes. that's what you guys have talked to us about. Don't yes. let it be. Right, exactly. Know what you like. Mm -hmm. Find out what you like. There's a lot of diversity with dessert wines. We actually have seen a lot of menu mentions with dessert wines increase 28% over mm -hmm. last year. So with that popularity, growing popularity, and we're seeing a lot of wine-based cocktails as well. Okay. So we paired those two together and did a dessert wine cocktail. Ooh. We've called it Passion Nut for Port because it has coconut rum in it oh and it also gosh. has passion fruit puree. It sounds really good. Perfect for Valentine's Day. The color is beautiful. The mm -hmm. name is very romantic. So we love that for Valentine's Day. So is that something Day. folks could make at home too? It is, so, yeah. absolutely. You just take a ruby port with some coconut rum, passion fruit puree, shake it up and put it and in the glass. And there you have it. Okay. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. And we paired that with our beef and blue. So the different types of uh, port wines, there's tawny port, which is aged in a barrel to give it beautiful age. And this one is aged in the bottle. So it still has a lot of red wine characteristics, which pairs beautifully with the beef. And ports go well with blue cheese as well. So this is one of our most popular bar bites. It's the beef and blue. Oh, that looks so good. So it's, it's blue delicious. cheese. Blue cheese, our prime beef, and then there's a bacon and onion marmalade on the bottom. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of flavors. And the cocktail also has a lot of flavors. And they meld really well together. And what folks may not know, if you haven't had a chance to check out Perry's yet, um, I mean, you guys do a happy hour and you have a lunch menu. And if you, d if you didn't want to jump right into Perry's at evening right. time, and you could try some of these Absolutely. things. Absolutely, yes. We have some brand new cocktails that we've just rolled out, okay. and this one, of course, for Valentine's Day. We also have a prefix menu for Valentine's Day. Uh, we offer five uh, appetizers, nine entrees, and three desserts, and it's fifty-four ninety-five or seventy-four ninety-five. That sounds like a good deal yes, to me. Yes. All right, what is this one? So this is a dessert wine that I like to pair all on its own. It's a little bit lighter. This is the Wine of Kings. This has been made since the 1600s, <laughs> and it has been gifted to Napoleon, and it's been just a part of history wow. for a very long time. And it's left, the grapes are left on the vine longer, so they become a lot sweeter, mm -hmm. but the grape itself has a lot of natural acidity, so it finishes bright and with some acidity, so it's not just sweet. I love the way she talks about wine. <laughs> okay, that's why she's the beverage director. Okay, over here. So this is Madeira. This is a very important wine in American history. This wine was used to toast uh, the Declaration of Independence. Oh. It was Thomas Jefferson's favorite wine, and it was also used really? to toast, yes, um, George Washington's uh, inauguration. So it's a really big part of our history. I, I love bringing it back. It is a wine that was made basically um, by mistake um, uh, when the adventurers were going out for years and years on these ships mm -hmm. they the, this was the wine that was left over in the barrel so it's been sitting in that wine in the in the bottom of the ships and aging with with a lot of heat so it oh, actually wow. also once it's opened it's bulletproof. It doesn't ever go anywhere. You can sit it on the shelf for a couple of years once it's open. That, that is, that's pretty yes. amazing. It pairs beautifully with chocolate. And that light chocolate looks, what is this yes. one called? This is our newest, one of our newest desserts. It's a chocolate crunch. Oh my goodness. It has dark chocolate, which pairs beautifully with the Madeira. Now, I know some of our producers went to a media night yesterday to check out some of this, and um, they said it was just fantastic. And so it's just a way to learn some things. And the history, uh, it's really like a little history lesson with wines, isn't it? Exactly. Some of these wines have been made, like I said, since the 1600s. So, and, yeah. and with Perry's, how does it work that you guys select certain wines uh, that you use at that restaurant? I like, I like to have a, a wine from each, for the dessert wines, a wine from each category. There's two different types of port. There's ruby port and tawny port. Ruby port is something maybe a little bit more masculine, where tawny is a little bit lighter, more mm -hmm. caramelized flavors. Mm -hmm. So again, you just want to explore and find out what your favorite is and then go from there. All right, well, just a fun little lesson today on some of the, the, the wines at Perry's, and uh, you too can obviously pick your own, but just in, some ideas on what you might want to pair some with for Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> uh, check out Perry's if you get a chance. All right, Susie, thanks so much. Thank you. All right. All right, still